Hi everybody, we are putting this film out to announce the Rebel Wisdom Festival, which is happening on the 30th and 31st of May. And David and I are obviously not in the same place, uh, so we're recording this uh, remotely. So the festival was originally going to be in person in London, and we've now brought it online. We've also made it free, so it's turned into something, um, I think, even bigger and more ambitious than the in-person festival. And this film is really to introduce some of the speakers and also to to introduce the, the ethos and the, the whole point of the festival and, yeah, what makes it maybe a little bit different to, to a regular online event. We've got all the people that we had previously for the festival, including Daniel Schmachtenberger, John Vivekey, Nora Bateson, but we've also added another couple of speakers, including Douglas Rushkoff and Jamie Wheel. We designed the festival to be really participatory. So it's not just about the intellectual side, it's also about the, the practical side of learning new skills, leveling up, improving our discernment, improving our focus and our awareness. So with that in mind, we have 20 odd workshops with lots and lots of different practices. So there's mindfulness, there's breath work, there's discussion groups, there's circling. Uh, we've designed it so that it's a kind of choose your own adventure format. And right now in the middle of the pandemic and the systemic crisis that we've also talked about, what we found is these skills become hugely important for us to navigate. And if you prefer not to participate, but you'd like to watch, we're going to be streaming sections of the festival live to this channel, to our YouTube channel. So there's three different tracks, so three different themes we're exploring throughout the festival, and they are sense-making, meaning, and imagined futures. Sense-making is something we've talked about a lot. How do we make sense of the world? In a world where it's very difficult now to trust information, and there's a lot of it, this is an absolutely essential skill because if we don't know how to make sense, we don't know where we're going. And the person who's probably spoken most about sense-making on the channel and most eloquently is Daniel Schmachtenberger, who's going to be at the festival. We're making more and more consequential choices with worse and worse sense-making to inform those choices, which is kind of running increasingly fast through the woods, increasingly blind. From what I have seen of Rebel Wisdom, this is probably the strange attractor of what is bringing everybody to watch it, is people who are trying to make sense of the world better themselves and are trying to find sources of content of other, of other people that have been trying to make sense of it well. Another key topic we've talked about on the channel from the beginning is meaning. And maybe more than anyone else, uh, John Verveke has delved into what he calls the meaning crisis. And he has a whole series called Awakening from the Meaning Crisis. So John is going to be speaking at the festival as well and just uh, play a quick clip. At the core of our cognition is our ability to make meaning. It's central to communication, problem solving. The problem that's happened for us is that the worldview within which our wisdom traditions arose has been significantly undermined for a host of very inter interconnected and complex historical reasons that have to do with things like the Protestant Reformation, the emergence of the scientific worldview. So for a whole host of historical reasons, we have a worldview in which we, as meaning makers, don't belong. And if you've been watching the channel over the last couple of months, uh, you might have noticed we've put out some pieces looking at uh, the current crisis we're in from a systems level and pointing out that uh, a lot of system theorists were the first people to point out that the, our systems are incredibly fragile. And one of them is Nora Bateson, who has a really interesting take on what, what, how systems work and why it's important that we take that, that wider view. The curse of Cassandra is to be able to see the future, but to have no one believe you. And uh, I think if you're looking at multiple systems simultaneously um, and Complexity thinkers have been actually, and systems thinkers have been saying for decades, I mean, not just right before this, but for decades, that there is an incredible destructive fragility in not just one of our systems, um, like it's not just the education system, it's not just the economy, it's not just the healthcare system, it's not just the political system, it's it's not just the, the role, the way technology is in our lives. It's all of those systems simultaneously. And more importantly, the fragility is in the relationship between them. So the third track is called Imagined Futures. 
And one of the high points of the festival, something we're both really looking forward to, is going to be a first ever dialogue between Douglas Rushkoff, the author of Team Human and someone who's been documenting Silicon Valley since the 1980s, and Jamie Wheel, the author of Stealing Fire and someone who's been on the channel a lot. And this will be the first time they've been in dialogue together. If the digital realm is as powerful as acid, you know, what set and setting are we bringing to it? You know, we originally brought the set of, you know, human potential and infinite connection between others. And now the set and setting of the internet is extractive surveillance capitalism. So if the world is now living in a psychedelic substrate for the last 20 years with a set and setting of extraction, abuse, manipulation, and and surveillance capitalism, you know, no wonder we're having a bad trip. You know, this, this, this is where we're at. And I understand people are having this, they're waking up into a nightmarish bad trip. Yeah, and another person like Rushkoff, who has been tracking these, these wider trends and looking at the history of the counterculture from really the, the 60s up until now, is Eric Davis, who we've also had in the channel. Because of the spread of technology, of, of, of digital technology, of media, of smartphones, of the internet, uh, of social media, that for a, a variety of reasons, the way that consensus reality was structured in the past, even in the immediate past, is eroding. And as it erodes, as it becomes harder to, let's say, distinguish between the online world and our physical world, because now our phones are with us everywhere, the sensors are with us everywhere, we're mapping this real space to this space and going back and forth more and more, and we're looking at our phones all day long, we're like interrupting our physical real reality with these information flows, those two worlds begin to kind of break down. And Eric will be in conversation with Greg Thomas, who's been on the channel before as well, and really trying to place the, the moment in time we're in now in the historical context of, of counterculture history. You have folks that are listening deeply, which is another very important practice in jazz that we should discuss, but they're coming forth with information and perspectives that's deeply informed. So that's a snapshot of the Rebel Wisdom Festival. Again, it's happening on May 30th and 31st. It's free and supported by donations. So if you want to join, go to rebelwisdom.co.uk slash festival, and we'll also put that down in the show notes. So hope to see you there, and thank you for watching. <laughs>